Happy Monday, everyone. Welcome yes. to the ABC 25 Local Lifestyles. I'm Angie Umphrey. I'm Ron Rhodes. Did you have a good weekend? I did have a good weekend. You always do, and you're always eating well over the weekend. Yes, I and we you, did. You whipped up something. You texted yes, me did. something that looked absolutely delicious. It and was. It, it was very good. It was, well, you know, it's pasta and beans and garlic and cheese. How could you possibly go wrong? You got those ingredients. There's nothing going on <laughs> It's now. a winter winter all the way around. <laughs> yeah. You have a good weekend? Yeah, I traveled a lot, but I got a lot of things you done. You saw your son's birthday, right? Yeah, my son's birthday over the weekend. He turned 23, Aww. so I traveled up to South Bend. That's a long haul. That is a long haul. Uh, but it was fun. I had a good time with him. That's the main thing. Well, happy birthday, Jordan. Yes, indeed. Well, the nominations are in, and you can celebrate local leadership and change makers, Leadership Everyone Awards event coming up. Ticket info and more. Matt Rao, the beautiful rights home, will open the spring calendar and the latest in business growth and opportunities from the Southwest Indiana Chamber. Plus, it's Monday. Right. And our garden guy, Charlie Stalker, will be here to take Good your deal. calls. Sounds like a lot of fun. You know, we've got temperatures nice and mild. Man, they yesterday are. was fantastic. Real, the whole weekend was so pretty. Really was. And we had all that sunshine. I hope everybody soaked it up because we're going to see so little. <laughs> like zero. I mean, like up. next to no sunshine. Not just today, but really all week long. It's not looking too good. That's our Kincaid camera getting rocked by the wind. That's another thing that's going to be in play today. We had a pretty decent breeze yesterday, but we got a big wind, though, uh, today. We're going to see gusts at times better than 30 miles an hour. Right now, it's 59 degrees, well on our way into the mid-60s, despite all the clouds out there. We had 66 for a high yesterday. Oh, and the average high is only in the low 50s, so we were well above the average. We were overachievers yesterday. Right, right. True we had south wind at 13 miles an hour right now, and again, that wind's going to gust at times better than 30 miles an hour so big it was, winds. The wind, that was windy i mean it really was on, right on saturday yeah. saturday was windy it was breezy yesterday too yeah. Actually, Saturday wasn't too bad where I was, so I guess you caught the wind at the uh, Memorial Scott. Right? Like, <laughs> right in the face, but so glad right. to see that sunshine. Are you ready right. for today's Daily Bring Dish? It on. Let's do it. The Daily Dish. We're going to talk about this super moon. It's called the Worm Moon, Ron, and that Yeah, right? the full moon's the Worm the Moon. The full moon, the Worm Moon. Well, yeah, that's yeah. happening this week. Mm -hmm. However, we're probably not going to see a whole lot of it. No, no. Uh, it happens when the moon is closest to approach to Earth in the orbit. The moon will seem bigger and brighter at night. The phenomenon happens happens quite often. We've had several this year, I think. Yeah, it's basically when the moon's at perigee, which means it's the closest point to the Earth. Obviously, when it's at apogee, it's the farthest away, and you don't have a supermoon there. So, I mean, yeah, we'll see a few supermoons over the course of the year. I mean, that's just the way it works. But, but we only see one full worm moon. <laughs> but and why is it called that again? Oh, who knows? It's probably Old Farmer's <laughs> Almanac. Oh, it's an old I mean, okay. most people know the Hunter's Moon, the Harvest Moon, that right. sort of thing. But all the full moons have a name. And if you have four full moons in a season, most people think if you see two full moons in a month, that's called the second one's the blue moon. Yes, that's It really true. just means if you have an extra full moon in the season, that is the blue moon, technically. Didn't we have a blue moon this year, or 2019? Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, we did. And we could see another blue moon this year, too. But at the same time, it's like, it's one of those deals where, I mean, who's making the rules anyway? Uh, that's what I'm saying. And who's calling it the, the worm moon anyway? the naming the moon phases. Uh, it's a full moon, it's a full moon. We got to see it well enough last night. I mean, it's, it was full enough. Really, when you have the full moon the night before, the night after the full moon, I mean, it's full enough. So but, at least last night was your only op option. Why? Right, right, because it's going to be too cloudy tonight. It's going to be raining. I mean, you're not going to see any moon tonight. <laughs> I mean, the moon is gone for a while. I'm sure NASA will post some pictures. Yeah, somebody somewhere is going to see it. Did you have those green plastic soldiers when you were a little yes, boy? Yes, I did. Okay, well, you, yeah, if you remember those, those uh, there's a new way to play with these because you probably remember they're all male soldiers. Well, right. BMC Toys will change that this year. The toys come in 15 poses like bazooka operator and captain, yeah, and now silly. they will include women. BMC is taking orders for them now, and they'll ship the first set in October. Now, the owner says a six-year-old girl named Vivian ask him and quote make army girls that look like women so a kickstarter campaign was uh, started and paid for the new design so there they are rosie the riveter makes her appearance too i like that uh this is great as long as they still have the i can't guy, believe they still have that about. toy i can't believe that toy is still the, the market the green army man oh yeah that, that was really that was like a classic i mean it, I mean, it really yeah, they probably still have lincoln logs too does anybody even use lincoln logs anymore? i don't know Did, well let a, us know out there. In TV I'm land. sure somebody will let us know that. But no, I mean, I love the Army, man. I thought that was a lot of fun. And we just try to collect as many as we possibly could, you know. And, and you have your little battles and things like that. Big fun in the sandbox. Well, that was back in the day before screen time.
Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then along came Pong, and the rest that, was... That was it. Oh, that my, was and it. we Gone. thought that was something. Right. Well, this Wednesday on the main campus of Oakland City <laughs> University, a panel of passionate community leaders will discuss the importance of diversity and inclusion. Listen, this is right up your alley, mm -hmm. Lynn. Uh, the event beginning at 11 a.m. will kick off with remarks from Evansville's mayor, Lloyd Winnicky. He'll be on the panel. You'll have Dr. Ashley Jordan of the African American Museum, Abraham Brown, the owner of La Camperana, Mary Allen, owner of Six and Zero, and, of course, Ben Trockman of Old National Bank. The inspiration for the event came from the campaign E is for Everyone. Right, right. I need to get some E is for Everyone socks uh, like the mayor Oh, yes. Has. You can get those down at yeah. the gift box, I think. Right, right. So that's great. I'm glad they're doing that. That's a wonderful yeah. deal. Wonderful event. Well, I mean, more and more we're seeing that kind of conversation come to the fore, and that's a great thing. So this right. is one opportunity happening in Gibson County, and there will be others. And, in fact, my next guest will be talking <laughs> about leadership in Evansville Court and Lynn are here. It's time to celebrate leadership.